Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN, and in this week's episode, Smart Skin for Planes, Giving Robots a Brain, and an Exciting Weekend for SpaceX. The thing about flying a plane is that to some extent you're kind of flying blind. Yeah, there are sensors and computers telling you some information about the plane, but given current technology, it's impossible to monitor everything happening everywhere on the plane. BAE Systems has come up with a solution for that problem by introducing their new smart skin concept. The idea is that the plane would be covered with sensors of different sizes, ranging from a grain of rice to less than one millimeter squared. These sensors, which will replace expensive single-purpose traditional sensors, would collectively serve as a skin that would pinpoint problems. The idea is that the network of sensors would operate similar to how human skin being touched sends a message to the brain letting you know something is happening and where. The sensors will be able to sense wind speed, temperature, physical strain, and movement via a gyroscope, strain gauge, temperature sensor, accelerometer, GPS, and airflow. The thousands of sensors would report data wirelessly to a remote operator and hopefully help increase maintenance efficiency, plane availability, and safety. Computer scientists at Cornell are busy developing a computational robo-brain system that will gather near-limitless knowledge to create increasingly intelligent robots. Now, before you start to panic, know that this isn't the key or any sort of gateway to artificial intelligence, killer robots or not. Rather, the purpose is to create a system whereby robots can absorb new knowledge and if they don't know something, query the robo-brain in the cloud. The more information they absorb, the more useful they'll be as household robots, research, and even in self-driving cars. In particular, the robo-brain could teach robots how to react to an unknown object or situation. If, for example, it encounters a mug or anything else with a handle, the robots would know how to grasp it in the appropriate place. For now, robo-brain is studying about 1 billion photographs, 120,000 YouTube videos, and 100 million how-to documents and appliance manuals to build its knowledge base. SpaceX had a uh, very explosive weekend this past week. Last Friday, SpaceX was conducting a test flight of their Falcon 9 Reusable Development Vehicle 1, F9R Dev 1, at the testing facility in McGregor, Texas when it exploded in midair. This particular vehicle is a successor to the Grasshopper and was the three-engine version of the F9R. According to the official SpaceR PR department, the rocket detected an anomaly during the flight and automatically terminated the mission. There were no injuries and it actually remained in the designated flight area. SpaceX also noted that there was an FAA rep there the whole time. This particular test, which was designed to detect anomalies and push the technology, was particularly complex. But if you ask Elon Musk, there is a pretty simple explanation for what happened. In a tweet explaining that the vehicle auto-terminated, Musk also noted that, quote, rockets are tricky. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Twitter and Facebook and check out previous episodes at ecnmag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta and this has been your engineering update.